watt panel and the kit they had to kind of assemble it they intended to order the kit and didn't and so they had to kind of assemble it themselves but it's basically a 100 water energy kit there it is it comes in this this big uh, this big box it's not actually all that big and then they have done what they've done so far is take it out of the box and this is the panel so and then they have mounted the feet these are the feet that come with the kit it's a Z feet and it bolts in from the bottom and does an L so it's actually a Z but it bolts in from the bottom very simple just uh, one bolt in and then it comes down very simple they've taken it up put it on the roof and uh, measured they know where it's going there I think they've got the place it's going through the wire through the uh, roof the wire is going through the roof now they're looking for a place to put the controller let's take a look see what's going on here if we're not missing the registration move and they're finding the wiring underneath the headliner because one thing you don't want to do is drill your hole through the roof and then go through a wire so they peeled off the bottom of the wire or the back of the headliner and are fishing around to see where everything's going to go. All right. 45 inches. Okay. Back to it. Pushing it with both of them either in the groove, in the grooves. So I think we're stuck putting them up on top of the these raised portions. That is what well, I was. I th figured that's ideal because you need air under it. Yeah, that that yeah. gives you maximum airflow. That's what I was hoping. Um, but if we kind of. You just kind of line it up right. <laughs> If we kind of position it like that, um, those aluminum brackets will bend very nicely to fit along here. Oh, and yeah. there's, um, just screwing it in will bend them. Yeah, just screwing it in will pull it all together. And this puts it on top of these ridges where it ought to sit pretty well. Okay, so we've got a position. More um, or less. Want me to mark that one or do we want to pull it over this side because uh, the control charge controller is going to be on this side. Charge controller, okay, then we should have it closer to that. There we go. The less wire running to your charge controller, the less of a voltage drop, the more power you get. Alright, that, that, that's good. actually pretty beautiful right where it is there because right. it's uh, sitting right on the... Is it sitting securely on the ridges there? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah it's, it's very comfortable. <clears throat> yeah, this looks beautiful. Alright, hey. we've got a spot. Let's make holes! <laughs> or great. mark holes! <laughs> So here, they've laid the panel down, and they are marked where the holes are going to be, and now they're drilling through the holes. My thinking is always, I'm so prone to error, <laughs> that if I can eliminate a chance for me to make an error, <laughs> take it. That's kind of my philosophy as well. And if I'm driving through the hole, yeah, I can hardly miss. <laughs> oh, I can miss nearly anything, but even that's a little tough for me. Alright, I'll stay up here and keep it in place now. Uh, it's now off a few of them, but that's okay. Because as long as you're lined up with the holes you're making. Is it lined up straight 
Um, well, you might this. drop a bolt through the one, <clears throat> and yeah. then it can't, <clears throat> that hole like can't it. drift. See, I like how That's it what I was thinking, too. You got good ideas. <sighs> <laughs> I can go to this side. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Here's the side. Okay. Ah. It's a two-person job. One holds down the bolt, and one starts it and threads, threads it and gets it going. And if someone hands me a crescent wrench, I can hold the... <clears throat> yeah. I'll be right on that. All right. I have uh, sockets, and sockets will make this go a whole lot easier and better. True. Mm. Let me get some sockets for you. We have, we have a socket set, too. Okay. All right. Um, are you ready to move to the next one? Yep. All right. It's on? Yep. <coughs> it's in that little part we're locked, I believe. Right. <coughs> Moving along really nicely. The, the, uh, panel is being bolted down now. The holes are drilled through. We know how the wire is going through. Uh, we've got the panel covered so it's not producing any power. And uh, everything's going quite smoothly. Uh, I carry some ladders so that makes the job a little easier. No, we're not tightening them just and, uh, yet. Just really, Have you, got the you know what this isn't? Them? It just goes slow right, we'll and steady and it's not complicated and difficult. And uh, once we get to the actual wiring, so then it's all right, just all... Um, Positive, positive, red and red, black and black, uh, and then strip some stripping and and uh, crimping and stripping at the end. And boy, it's just really it. It's surprisingly easy, and that's why I love and recommend the Renogy kits. You spend the money, the box comes, and you just yeah, plug it. away at getting it all figured out. And most people can. It's not you know so complicated and difficult that. The average person can't do it. The average person can, and if you need a little help, yeah, there's people around. I'm sure will be glad to help. Uh, Brooke and Miriam have done this. is their third. Uh, they're getting pretty good at it. I've offered virtually no advice or help, and they're just doing it all. So you can do it, too. You can do much more than you think you can. This they can. This encourages more women, too. Uh. I know what. I'm almost embarrassed to say, look, any woman can do this, because that should be so obvious. But you have to say it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. A, a lot of women doubt their own capabilities. Yeah. They really shouldn't because, you know, if you can drive a car and um, operate a basic power tool or two, you can do this. Like, it's totally within your grasp. Well, you know, at the same time, when it comes to electrical, uh, men feel the same way. I mean, there are a lot yeah, of men who would not tackle this either because they're afraid of it. And mm -hmm. that's, it's, uh, Electricity well, seems to be a, an equal opportunity terrifier. Well, my brother, who's a carpenter, won't even touch it. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's right. like, nope. It's just with 12 volt, it's unusually simple. Uh. It's red to red and black to black nearly the whole way. And the kits explain everything, like exactly how you need to do it, like what needs to be connected to what, and it comes with all the hardware and connectors and everything, so it's really just a matter of figuring out how you want to lay it out and uh, how much of it you want. So you found the kit to be pretty self-explanatory? Yeah, and uh, 
What did you say, Brooke? What? <laughs> <laughs> Using the kit was uh, pretty self-explanatory of how... Yes. Well, everything's on. That's um, so right. None of it's tightened, though. All right, shall we uh, go back to the first set and start tightening? Yeah. All right, I've got, hang on, let me get the wrench on it. All right, there you go. Ah, that's a satisfying click of a ratchet. What happened? Break? The bolt came out. It broke? Yep. Wow. Uh -oh. You were cross threaded. Huh? No, you were? No, that was a different one. Oh, no, it was a different one? That snapped right off, yeah. It just broke off. All right, well, <coughs> we need another one. Uh, do, we, do you have another one? Um, Is the, where's the sack? No, I'll get it. Yeah, do you have another bolt? No. Oh. I don't oh. think so. Well, I got plenty of bolts. Okay, Whatever good. you need, I've got. <laughs> good. I'll get you Good, because These, the big thing is, mm -hmm. you can put them together by hand. Mm -hmm. You can't take them apart by hand, you need a tool. Okay. <laughs> Some people, well, you wouldn't, but actually don't snap them all the way in mm -hmm. if they want to take them apart all the time. Yeah. But of course, you never want to take it apart again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd rather I might need your assistance to get that one together. Of course, sir. There's sometimes, there, that one's, that's how they're supposed to do it. Mm -hmm. This one is a, is a bear. There it goes, it's almost there. There we go. Nice nice click. Mm. Yeah, I have a click little bit stronger hands, good. so. We like click. <clears throat> Get the grip. Yeah. There we go. Um, I wonder if we using some of that there. RV tape that we've got would hold this down to the roof as well. Maybe. Uh, but the important thing is we should probably strap those together. Mm -hmm. so but yeah, and these are done for now. We just let them dangle. So the MC4s okay. come back. Now they're connected. It goes in through the side, through the holes in the side, and then you can't. Oh, you're not going to be able to see, and it's going to be too dark and too curvy. And then it goes in and goes back around and goes actually inside the van. And it comes, goes under the headliner, and then comes out down here. Yeah. So we'll, you're going to zip tie it so that they're not just flapping around. Yep. And then you think you'll tape it down? You might do that, yeah. Just to keep it a little bit better. Yeah. Well, that sounds a whole lot better. What's that? Yeah, we're gonna want to. That sounds a whole lot better. Yeah, like it'll, it'll it'll flap around. In the long yeah, run, it might harm it. Chocolate yeah. chips the other day, just because. Oh yeah. Well, why not? Because that's a lot of play. I found some really nice stuff. Mhm. Mm they look pretty. They are pretty. We could take some play out. <laughs> yeah. Craggy wash. It was so silent, and then all of a sudden. There, now they don't move much. Yep. And a little tape or something.
That's right, get your shoulders into it. Goop's cheap. Leaks are expensive. Huh? Goop's cheap. <laughs> Leaks are expensive. <laughs> the cacophony. Right. So we're going to need four. So once we get this mounted on the wall, all we have to do is cut these to length and then strip them. And the stripped wire so has to be fed into these little set screw terminals. And they're neatly labeled with pictures, just in case you can't read or something, or you didn't read the manual. Um, and uh, you have positive and negative right there. So as long as you did something good, like taping it, so that you know which one is positive and negative, because their energy kits come with wires that are all the same color, um, then you can feed it into the right one, and you're good. Good. Okay, we'll get that mounted. Yeah. And then if I can get someone to hold that steady while I set no. the next screw. Do you have another screw? Oh, no, I just set it down. Here Oops. It is. There it is. They have in words. It's not going anywhere. Mm. Yep. Yeah, All right, now really we can put the. I'm gonna back in this one just a little bit because it's kind of. There we go. Right. It was starting to right. pull on the frame of the. Yeah, we don't want to need that. Yeah. All right, and then uh, the wood screws, and we're good. All right. I don't know if the wood screws are strictly necessary, but it'll just give it that much more. <coughs> no harm done. <laughs> yeah. Um. Does anyone have the wood screws? <laughs> I don't think we brought any. Uh, we didn't bring them over. Let me go find them. They have a bunch. And this is a wood screw at the bottom, so we've got a sheet metal into metal at the top, and a wood screw down into the pretty thin plywood at the bottom. You just keep it from flapping. Yeah, just stabilize it a bit. No harm done. Let's see how many times I can hit my head on the frame of the van. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. There we go. It's up. All right. And, and it's mounted. Couldn't be any much simpler than that. Okay. Thank you. Right. Yeah, he's he, got to run or whatever. He, uh, he? I leave the door open so he's in and out in the trailer. And the van went up one more in the van. He's big enough to buy it. One thing you always want to do mm -hmm. is fuse everything. He's very distinctive. <laughs> All right. I could actually cut it back further. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I'll just cut it here. I'll let it loop hang a bit. Yeah, the yeah. extra is not the end of the world. He's got beavers just your age. <coughs> and then just put, yank it off so that you don't take off any of the wires underneath. Ideally. Ideally. <laughs> <laughs> This trainer is not the end of the world. This is the butt's place. And this Real easy to use. Butt connector goes in. Do one wire at a time. It's simpler. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. Just making sure that they all fit. Really? Yeah, that'll fit. I just need a bit of a twist. Do you want me to do the ceiling? I have my lighter. Yeah, <coughs> if you can get that ready. Oh, there you are, back here you go. And then the same tool has a little crimp end. And you just squeeze it down.
you got the old better intent thing going on. Hmm? Judy. You got the old better intent. Uh. <laughs> Instead of getting in the shade. Yeah. <laughs> Not much shade to be had, though. Not a lot out here. Yeah. I've got about the only shade there is. And then the tug. That's the key thing. Yes. You always check. Okay, now. You wanna heat shrink it? <clears throat> and then we'll take And then we gotta get the other side. So the fuse itself actually goes into the controller and not the wire from the panel. And you go on the positive side. And then you heat the tube to make it shrink. My ultra high tech heat device yeah. here. Very high tech. If you have a heat gun, use it. <laughs> yeah. And you need to strip a bit off the uh, other end, or it will go into this, the so. controller. <coughs> yeah. So this is close enough. So we can just put that straight in there. Mm -hmm. Right. Into the positive. <clears throat> uh, generally, customarily, you fuse the positive side, and you ground the negative. Okay. Again, red to red, positive to positive, negative to negative. Yep. This could um, really be... Cool thing is, this is no longer a live circuit because there's no... Right. <laughs> this end is not live because there's no fuse in there. Okay. So for now, this is good. And I'll just wrap this with more tape. You mind if I use your No, red? feel free. I actually right. got another full roll somewhere. I'm not exactly okay. sure where off the top of my head. I like a woman with a knife. <laughs> Big knife. You should see the rest of her collection. <laughs> I have a cutlass in the in the. Uh, I don't know if you saw it when we did the tour, but I'll hang on the wall. It's a cutlass. It's but it's real. You never <laughs> know when a pirate show. can show up. Yeah, right. You know. You never know. You not never know when you need to report bo uh, repel borders. You know, know. that someone it thinks it is. <laughs> and all this red makes yeah. you really think it's positive. So. Mm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know that this is going to be definitely the positive side. Warning. But we're going to test it anyway when we're done. Actually, doing the connection to the battery. Keep it out of the way of these because you're going to need to water that. Mm -hmm. well, positive goes on. Nothing's attached at the other end yet. Nope. It's just sitting free, safely away from anything negative. Right. <laughs> you know, when this jostles or whatever, you're going to want to be careful because you don't want this to, this connector to come off. Because mm -hmm. this is, see, it's kind of tight, mm -hmm. but I'm not tightening it a lot, so it, it has some wiggle if you need that. But you want it pretty tight. But I know you at least have to shove it back in. And you have the fuse on the other end, so you, it's obvious which one's positive and negative on the exactly. other Exactly. Alright, so this is going to go right in here. It won't do anything because this, there's no fuse in there, so... Right. So, I have no problem shoving this. Are you going to connect those now? So it comes in from underneath, and it has a screw on the side there that you're unscrewing. I think I just got to screw it in because it doesn't, yeah. Oh, it's already screwed it's out. It's already screwed out. And then you just screw it in. And that was it. Well, it couldn't have been a simpler connection than that. Yeah. And it's very clearly marked on the controller uh, where it's coming from, which is positive and negative. Little icons. All right. So the positive, the battery is connected now to the controller, but because it's not fused, there's no power transferring. Yeah. I mean, there's a fuse in the in there, but no fuse in the holder. Yeah. 
the holder is empty. That'll be our on button. <laughs> right. You can always completely disconnect the system if you have a problem. You can always disconnect it from the from the salt from either the controller or the battery just by pulling the fuse. And now this is the negative wire. And again, sure. the wire came with the kit uh, <clears throat> with uh, with the ring connector at the at the one end, and you just have to put it on and screw it down. Yep. Negative to negative, positive to positive. All the way through, the system is very clear, very simple. And everything is clearly marked. The battery's got a big positive and negative sign on it. Well, we'll put that back in. And the dog's in the way. Come on! The dog's already back in the way, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. All right, so that's on the way. That's that one. This one's gonna need to be a little longer. So you know what? I might just not cut it to give you plenty of need mm -hmm. and just take their cut and use that and this is the negative from the uh, battery yes you stripped off the end it didn't come with this end stripped off you stripped it off and insert it in the hole underneath and tighten it down So the battery is connected. The battery is connected, but there's no battery light because there's no fuse. No fuse. So if we throw a fuse in there, we should see a battery light come on. Shall we throw a fuse in there and check the circuit? Okay. All right, let's do <laughs> it. Yay! It's working. Nice. We got green. And you just stuck the uh, fuse in, and now you got fuse. the green light. All is right with, the with its little world. All right. <clears throat> so now, it's just the panels. Now my mom, my mom. Uh, well, we still haven't uncovered the panel. No, we're going to probably need to do that. But is, uh, I doubt I'll get a voltage otherwise. <laughs> no. I might. I might get something. Before we do anything else, for now we're going to check for the uh, stick of voltmeter in the, in the fuse holder and see if we've got a voltage coming out of the battery. We're checking the panel oh, yeah. battery. Um, the cover is not doing squat. We're getting quite a bit of voltage. I wonder if it was too <laughs> opaque. It's not. Yeah, it is not opaque enough. All right, so this is good. This is a great setup. We've got it. You got so, full power coming out of it? Yeah. We, we have like, well, not full power. We could get more, but this is 19 volts. Well, that's all, yeah. Yeah, that's all you need. And that's with it covered. Wow. So, might as well uncover it, ladies. All right. <laughs> so much for that idea. Yeah. We are good. I thought we were doing a good thing. Well, we could have <laughs> used the... Using ra we used um, a, one time uh, we used a drop cloth that was heavy cotton that worked well. We got nothing out of it then. Got to use the cardboard box. Cut that. It. So now I would recommend on Renogy kits that when you're uh, stripping the 12 gauge cable, use the 10 gauge hole. It's very thick, and you're less likely to lose wires if you strip with the 10 gauge hole. It, uh, Just my feeling. It's UV resistant, so it is a thick wire. Yeah. Because it's an outdoor wire. So I just use the 10 gauge hole on that. And now, these are safe ends because there's no fuse. <laughs> Otherwise, I would not be doing this at the same time. And this is the negative from the solar panel. And again, you stick it up from the hole underneath and screw down the screw. 
at bytes and uh, connects it. Very nice. Alright, it's in there. <clears throat> and if they were placed carefully, she'd even have room for a second one up here if she wanted to. Very nice. We're positive. Uh, we'll do the exact same thing. It's already stripped, so you. Put it into the hole at the end so it fits in all the way and tighten it down. And that's it. It's up. We just need to put a fuse in there too. Right. Which I got right here. Mm -hmm. I just throw a 10 amp in there because it's a 5. And you should be uh, producing power. Yeah. I just no. Yeah, it's up. Right, it's lit. On. It is lit. It's dim. I, I can see it. Yeah, it's, it's hard to see, <laughs> but oh, it's on. What am I worried about? It's fine. <laughs> okay. And there you go. And this, I'm does just it have a, a display for volts or amps or anything? Uh, you have to buy that separately no, with these. Separate. It plugs into here. Huh. But, yeah, so you have uh, two little lights and they can give you some information based on their flashing or not, or being on or not, but that's about it. Otherwise, you need one of these. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's really the ticket. Because you can always touch the terminals and get readings. I do wish I was getting more volts, but that should be fine. It's 17.8 also? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why it's so low. It seems low. But yeah, we should be good. And you can see the, uh, the little diagram. It's got a panel and a battery. And so that it's pretty obvious which one is, goes to which. And the positive and negative are clearly marked. The whole job is just connecting a positive to positive, negative, negative wire, all the way from the uh, solar panel to the solar controller, from the solar controller to the battery. That's all there is to it. And then adding on the two fuses. Super job. Final step, you'll kind of uh, check the, the voltage at the battery now. It's on and should be should be going up. What have we got? It's hard to oh know God, so how much it was before or how much it would be taking. What have we got? 13.67. No. Uh, seven, uh, you know eight, what? Seven. This one is going to be here. Yeah. Switch Stop, it's right. wasting it, Allie. Stop, Allie. Really. Uh, can you give me the manual? Well, 13.6 is good. Yeah. Very good. Do you have some con input control? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to adjust here. Because I'm realizing that this is a... Uh, this defaults... These, these kits in general default to being set up for an AGM battery. Oh. So I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> it's feeding it way more than it needs. It's probably full, and it's now reading full because I switched the mode. But I switched it to mode 3, which I think from memory is flooded. But we need the manual to be sure. It's a simple charge controller, but it does have some configuration ability. And it is an MPPT, so it's pretty good. And if you buy the add-on, it probably gives you quite a bit more control. It gives you a lot more information, if nothing else. Okay, yes, uh, I was right. Number three is flooded battery, two is gel cell, and one is sealed or AGM. So, 
You're good. So this is the correct mode and your battery... It, 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 belie gonna... it believes your battery's full. Mm -hmm. Or at least it's in float mode, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it that it's full, but <laughs> necessarily. It's probably pretty close to it. You haven't really used it. <clears throat> Want to use it for something? No, no, do I? For the heck of it? Yeah, sure you do. What do I um, do? Now, one thing... Uh, <laughs> one thing you can do and uh, is this here is a load terminal for uh, charging small appliances and things like that anything that's not going to draw a huge amount like an inverter would um, you can actually hook up a little plug and wire it into there mm -hmm. fuse it <laughs> but, and then wire it into, into there and there you go that's the easiest way to get it out of your battery you don't have to put anything directly on your battery then okay. but you have to fuse it because it's not a fuse box mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but. But yeah, if we want to play with the battery and just charge something for the hell of it, you can. You got a full battery, pretty much. Um, okay. You tell them, Ruby. So to test the system, now we've got uh, a clip-on. This is just a uh, cigarette lighter plug, and it connects to uh, battery clamps. And she's battery clamped on, positive, positive, negative, negative. And now we're going to test very simple connection and have power. Thank you. There we go. High power application here. Yeah. <laughs> and yet this is what 90% of the time. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> Yay! Yay! You have solar power. That's insane. <laughs> So what do you have to draw to charge? Just your laptop, your phone, yeah. just a few little things? Just some things. Yeah. Just, I mean, I don't have a lot of a huge amount of needs. So. I bet you'll find a 100-watt 100, 100 panel will meet all your needs really well. I think so, yeah. Do you have a 12-volt adapter for your um, laptop? Yeah. yeah. Next yeah, you just got it. That's so exciting. So you have the inverter, but hopefully you'll never have to use it. Yeah. That'd be nice. Well, if I do have to use it, I don't have to use it while I drive, but this is, you know, you don't want to have to think about always driving. Just sit there and let it work. Thank you so much. And you're solar powered now. Yeah. You're extra off-grid. <laughs> off-grid squared. Woo! Party! nuts. Now I just have to remember not to electrocute myself. Yeah, that is kind of important. <laughs>